TJ and Lisa are in the yard. Well, we are in the yard having a, our after morning's walk fun time. Basically, every two to three hours we have to go in the yard to play. And of course, someone needs to mark their territories, mainly TJ. Lisa, ow! Today I will be talking... Pridna, TJ to. Today I will be talking how it was with Lisa when she came to our home, especially regarding yard. She was born in the countryside with almost no traffic around. As you can see, we have somewhat somewhat well traveled road just by our house and Lisa when she was puppy so two three months old she was scared of the traffic she wouldn't come to the front of the house so this front yard because she was afraid of the noise of the traffic of the vehicles passing by So I had to teach her that there is nothing wrong with the traffic and we started to have our daily routine. Basically I carried her in my lap to the, the fence. So, at the beginning, she was in my lap, I carried her and we just went along the fence and she was looking at the vehicles. But, at the f oh, for the first time it was too much for her and she was scared, but we, st we repeated the process every day and it, get, it got better and better. Then the next step it was that I let her pause, front pause, touch the top of the fence and so that she had a sense of somewhat of control and of of the fence and she so she started to look with more confidence to the traffic of the traffic the next phase was that I put her down and she had to sit or walk beside me along the fence at the start she she realized that the cars are okay they are fine but she still had problems with buses and trucks because they make more noise so we basically had to do this our daily exercises for a, let's say a month before she realized that it's okay to be here in the front yard. But for the first six months, I had I had to be with her, or she had to be under complete supervision. 
because she was still so small and there are some spaces in this fence where she could get out not here but on the other side so that was the main concern for the first six months that she could got away but as I said in the previous video she found a way how to get outside the fence and this is it we took about a month to get Lisa accustomed to the traffic and the noises of the urban life and later when we were on walks she still had the problems sometimes problems with the buses especially when on the when on the bus stops they put with, with the use of hydraulics the buses they they put the buses lower so the passengers can more easily come on board or walk off the bus and the, that hissing sound was really terrifying for her but now she doesn't have the problem with that anymore guys day green or not so this is it for today thank you very much for watching if you have any questions let me know below if you like the video let me know with a thumbs up and if you haven't subscribed to our channel please do thank you very much and goodbye